Hello everyone, my name is Sherry. Welcome back to my channel. 2024 is coming or maybe it's already here by the time you're watching this video the technology is getting crazy now with ai machine learning with software engineering i should stop talking with my head 2024 is the year of technology and you wanted to self-teaching yourself programming you wanted to self-teaching yourself software engineering machine learning basically everything about tech i mean you have to of course and that's awesome but here's the catch you have a full-time job, you have a 9 to 5, and you don't have time to learn. Well, that's what you think. To be honest, you have the time. You have the time. You have to go to the gym after work, you have to pick up your kids, you have to do the groceries, you have to have a coffee chat with your friends. So basically, you think you have no time, and I would say you have no time. So introducing the Sherry's way of self-teaching yourself. As you probably know, I'm a self-taught programmer. I've said that many, 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 many times. But yeah, I self-teaching myself. Um, yeah, but I'm not really good in time management anyway. So, but, 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 but I'm self-taught. I did everything before. I have been through a lot of things. I have been through like the time management things, the productivity things. So as a self-taught, learning new topics every single day is what I do, right? Let me show you some of my tips to self-teaching yourself while having a hectic schedule. Well, like with so many new things coming out in tech, AI, machine learning, deep learning, software engineering, blockchain, um, data analytics, um, design, UI, UX. You want to keep track with every single thing. You want to know every single thing. You want to get a grasp of every single thing. But let me tell you, it is impossible. You know why? There are too many of them. But it is not, it is impossible if you want to get a grasp of everything in one single month. It is impossible. But if you want to do it in like a one year thing, that is possible. Here are the five ways I will do. So first thing first, you need to have curiosity. So if you're not curious in tech and you can't do anything, anything in tech you need to be curious about how this works and how this mathematic equation works how this software architecture works how is it being designed like this why is it being designed like this why do we have to use this and then this and that so if you are curious enough it's not hard for you to learn and it is not hard for you to keep track of everything because you are curious you're genuinely curious about the topic it means you don't have to be forced by someone in order to be able to do something. You're just curious. So that's the first thing you need to have. Be curious. Be curious. Curiosity. The second is once you have figured out what to study, for example, you want to study data analytics, you need to schedule at least one hour, one hour every single day, no matter how busy you are, one hour, just one hour a day, just one hour a day during your lunch time, during your your break time, during your um, toilet time, during your um, any time, just one hour a day. It can be um, spending time understanding the theory. It can be sp it can be spending time building a project. You know, this is what I used to do before while I was working um, in in the restaurant. I would spend my break time learning, continuing. Um, watching the the videos on Udemy for my course that I have bought for like a few dollars. That's what I did before. Um, so yeah, spend at least one hour a day to learn, keep, to keep learning the topic that you are currently learning right now. Once you have figured it out, um, how, when are you going to spend one hour in every single day? I mean, learning a new things is a big thing, right? So the third point is, Break down your tasks into a different kind of um, chunks, smaller tasks, and then use Trello. Use something called Trello to organize your tasks. You can divide it into different columns. For example, like this is the to-do task. This is the in-progress task. This is the done task, and see how how much have you completed in one month, and then uh, how many tasks you left in the in that week, or depending how you're gonna organize that. Um, I've seen people um, using Trello to organize, to put the, the, the resources about, so this is what they have learned, this is what they have learned, and this is they are going to learn, so a lot of resources, but it's great, 
But a, a reminder for you is like, don't spend time uh, looking for the best resources because there's literally none. Most of them are teaching basically basically the same thing. You just have to um, find one resource, stick to it, and then stick to it, be curious, be curious, and then spend one hour at least, one hour to be curious about the topic and then just learn it. Don't spend time looking for the best resource because there is none. I'm not sure if you have heard of a rules by Warren Buffett before. Um, it's called the 525 rule. So this is tip number four. The 525 rules. What is that? So the 525 rule is, so you write down 25 of your goals. Maybe 25 things you wanted to do in a, de in, in a day. I mean, that's listed out 25, for example, and then circle up the top five that you have to complete in that day, in a week or whatever your goal is. And then once you have that top five, remove the rest of the 20 and then just work on the top five. You don't, you don't need to complete a lot of things in one day because that's just impossible and then you'll get distracted and you can't focus and then you can't get the, you can't do the things well um, if you have way too many tasks in a day, you will get distracted. So list out your tasks, circle the top three or top five and then get rid of the rest and then work on the three. And then tip number five, what I found important is like environment plays a big role in my productivity. Sometimes if I stay home and work, I'll feel tired and sleepy. And then when I go to a cafe, I'll feel energetic because, you know, the environment, people are working, I see people are working and then, um, and then I can drink coffee and then the vibe is very different. So it gets me, it gets me um, energetic to work on my tasks. So the, the, your environment is very important. Um, pick the right place to work. If you don't feel like working from home today, go to somewhere um, to your friend's house. Probably not a good idea because you guys will spend time talking. This is what I would do with my friends. <laughs> We just spend like, um, we just talk for like three hours and then we can't do the work. So maybe uh, rent an office or maybe if you can't go to a cafe. Um, if you, I don't know, any, just, just anywhere that suits your, that suits you. And then I'll probably add a few more extra tips for you. So they say it's very important. So this is number six. Okay, this is number six. Do the hard things first in the morning. Um, because when you woke up, you have no distractions. You don't have a lot of burden in the morning. And then if you have completed something that's like super hard for you in the morning, you will feel much more productive later on of your day because you have accomplished something that's so hard. And then the rest of your task for the day will be easier. Learning, programming and machine learning is very important for you during your day. Do that first before you go for a run. Do that first before you start your day. Wake up in wake up around like six o'clock. Spend an hour, spend like one hour on your tasks to learn programming. Continue your project, and then the rest of your day will be super productive because you're doing something that's so important to you. First task of your day, and then you have completed that. And then I'm pretty sure you have heard of the tips called Pomodoro technique. It's a technique where you have a timer and then you have, you probably can, if you work for 25 minutes straight and then you can have like five minutes break and then 25 minutes, five minutes, 25 minutes. So you focus on a task for 25 minutes or maybe more, it's up to you. And then you can take a break for like five, 10 minutes and then you continue to work on. Not touching on your phone, no distractions, no, no leaving, you can't leave your seat. You cannot go anywhere, just stick to your chair and then work for 25 minutes and lastly probably the most important thing or maybe an options have an accountable partner have a mentor or have a friend to study with you to keep track with your progress will be helpful um, because having a study partner or having someone who is the same journey who is in the same situations and same journey as you will, will keep you on track with your tasks or most importantly follow me on instagram or follow me on my youtube if you've done that if you haven't don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on instagram because i i am watching you to achieve your goal i'm watching you to complete your task for the day have you done it if you haven't do it now do it now do it now 
All right, that's it for today. Now more videos coming and happy new year and I hope you have a wonderful year, day, week and good luck with everything. I'll see you in the next video.